two tonight. Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski for EA Sports. Both teams feeling themselves out in game one. Here we go. They're back at it again. Really looking forward to this one tonight. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Turn that one aside. Sends a pass over. But Toronto's got the puck in his own zone. Puts it on there. Good stop by Husso. Detroit's got the puck along the wall. Takes the feed. Quick feed to Petrano. Taken by Fowler. Great reach with the poke check by Sider. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Anaheim's got control of it now from their own end. And he gives it over to Terry. Forces the turnover in the neutral zone. Detroit's got the puck against the boards. Petrano stick handling in his own zone. And it's a quick pass to Fowler. Tries to get the puck over to Terry. Boom! Wow, what a thunderous hit there. Wow, well, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, he get nailed. A feed out front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Moves it to Terry. The Red Wings gain possession along the wall. Moves the puck. He does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. And he slides it quickly for Strom. Hooked away in the offensive zone by Perron. Shot! Scores! There's an in on
midway mark of this period. It's all tied up. Anaheim's taking possession in their own end. From the right side, takes the pass. Broken up with a little physicality. The Ducks move the puck in the defensive zone. Kalorns crossed the line and gained the zone. There's a violent collision. Made that stop. Mata's got it along the boards. Here's a short pass to Perron. Denies him! Larkin's greatest asset is his speed. His wheel zone ability means he can really fly when he's got the space to move. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. And tipped by one out of the net. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Oh, the save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck leaves the zone. Musa quickly over to Kane. Back to the point it goes. Scooped up along the wall by Larkin. With the blast! Goodness, what a save by Gibson! Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Gostas Bears got it into offensive territory. Picked off by Terry. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. Taken by Gudis. The Red Wings gain possession. Detroit's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Oh, what? And as play continues, this place is still present, and they're getting loud here now. Well, this is all about fan appreciation for that huge save, and man, does this ever feel good. You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save, and everyone around you is appreciative. Oh, what a moment close! And he turns that one aside. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Just here in the late stages of this frame, we got a tie game. Detroit's gonna start with the puck in their own end. Oh, he'll feel that one. Raymond's moving the puck through his own zone. Takes it to the front. Oh, I thought he was gonna be beat, and he somehow got a piece of that. Anaheim's through center and now in the offensive end. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Carlson. Detroit's got possession of the puck. Quick pass to Perron. Shot, turns it aside with the pad. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. First period nearly in the books here. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Shot, and that's blocked away. The Red Wings break out of their own end with one last chance. Detroit's gained the line and into the zone. Oh, he gets his glove on that and just enough to keep it out. Oh, the goaltender and in. That's a goal. Well, these goals are real deflators for the entire team. James thought he had a piece of it. It just dribbles into the back of the net. He wants that one back. Detroit's taken a one-goal lead here in this opening stanza. How does this now change the complexity? Uh, I think the coach wants to manipulate their bench now that they have dictated pace, James. But if you're an elite athlete, you're always pushing for more. One certainly isn't enough. You don't have enough runway to sit back and say, hey, we're going to coast this one in.
are just moments away from the start of period number two. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Gibson's been fantastic in the game so far, James. I mean, he's the only reason his team is still in it. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Red Wings have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Larkins won the draw, and they're on the attack. Anaheim's looking to break out. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Can't maintain possession after that hit. The Red Wings will play it from the defensive zone. Handles it again. Quick feed to Nabrinkit. And that goes off a of body. Missed the net. Oh, that would have tied it right there. Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? When you're trying to pick the corner, the goal is set to position. Sometimes this is the result. You miss one. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Puck sent over to Terry. Oh, absolutely hammers him. The Red Wings will play it in their own end. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Moves it to Wallman. The Ducks gain control of the puck against the wall. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Here's a short pass to McTavish. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Leo Bushkin's got it in the offensive zone. Rips it. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. And that's for 
broken out. McTavish is lugging the puck. Here they come on the attack. Scores! And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now is on the line. You don't get many odd man rushes throughout the game, James. You have to capitalize on your opportunity. I thought they executed perfectly. They didn't overpass. The right player took the right shot. The Ducks needed that strike, and it pays off. Now let's see what they can do with the lead in the back half of this second period. Well, they need to turn it around, James, because they have not been the better team. They haven't had really any possession time. They've just been opportunistic. They've got to find a way to turn this thing around and start playing better. Takes the feed from the left side. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Strong's been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it, and the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Detroit's got to find a way to break on through. They've had plenty of shots on net, and yet they trail here in period number two. The Ducks win it. Let's it go from the slot. Made the save on the play. I'm not sure how we saw this puck, James. I mean, he's screened. There's a ton of traffic, and he finds the puck to make the save. That one's a fabulous one. Right in the slot. Big time stop. They are really dialed in here tonight. We got a whistle as the puck goes out of play. We saw coming up here. They were buzzing moments ago. Now they really were. It's a tough spot for the goaltender. Everyone else can change, but he can't. He's got to outbattle his opponent now. Detroit's got the puck in the defensive end. Here they come up along the wing. The Ducks look to start the transition game. Anaheim's on the attack. And he lays him out with that collision. Takes the pass. Knocked away with the stick by Vetrano. Takes it to the net. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. In the final moments of this period, it's a one-goal hockey game. 3-2 is where we sit. Detroit's won the face-off deep in their own end. Quick feed to Mata. Fires it on net. Oh, what a pad save by Gibson. The officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. The Ducks take possession off the face-off. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Skates to the crease. Oh, what a stop. Scores. It's in the back of the net. And it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in his playoffs. And you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. The Ducks deliver an absolute backbreaker with that goal here. Well, it certainly adds a buffer to that one goal lead, doesn't it? And it certainly changes the mind frame. What it can't change is the way that they're playing. they got to keep the foot on the gas here and get themselves to the intermission. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. The Ducks carry it along the wall. Now a quick pass to Jones. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Detroit's gained possession along the boards. Rasmussen's taking it from his own end. Along the half wall with the puck. And it's a quick pass to Hall. Comes up with the stop. Gibson's been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the crease, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. Man, his team's been effective going north. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. 
It's hard to say whether they make him like they used to, but this is a tough one. He's perfectly set up, and then it craters on him. He snaps in half, and he's on his way to the bench for a new one. win that offensive zone face-off. You'll need more than that to beat him. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. And that brings the second period to an end. Both teams will go back to their rooms and get a quick breather. Well, man, there's a lot of fans looking forward to this intermission action coming up here. Fun entertainment in store, and we've got the third period coming up in moments. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. They have dropped the puck here in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? ahead in this game, James, but for how long is the big question? I mean, the opponent just keeps storming back after a goal. This is a modern-day offensive game. No defense is being shown on this one. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. He got all on that one. Oh, stopped with the pad by Husso. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Great read by the keeper to poke it away. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Turns it away. I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Ducks have some breathing room as they lead by a pair. It's 4-2. The Red Wings take possession off the faceoff. And that carries off a stick. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. And he slides it quickly to McTavish. That's a solid hit. The Red Wings take possession in the neutral zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Moves it to McTavish. Levels him with the hit. Now he takes it over the line. A chance in front! Sensational stop with the stick by Husso. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. Feeds the puck to Fowler. Gives him a choke with that hit. Detroit's got the puck along the wall. The Red Wings have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Dished on over to Petrie. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And he takes the dish, scores! And a quick strike here puts them right back into this one. Well, the game opens up here now, James, as they're within one, and if they can continue this press, they can get the equalizer. You gotta believe that they can do it right now as you feel the momentum shift. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. The Red Wings have made this a one-goal game here in the third. Might be the final dance in the third period, but there is a lot of runway as this team is on fire right now. And we saw that with that last goal as they're within striking distance. You can feel the energy. It's just popping out of them right now. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Two on one. Here we go. Here's a pass. Shoots. Oh, what a stop to nine. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Detroit's trailing by one. Cops won the faceoff. Sends the pass over. And he slides it quickly to Mana. Oh, big time save by Gibson. Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out on top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. 
Sends it quickly to Hall. Puck scooped up by Mata. Lucky bounce to the goaltender as it goes off the inside of the iron and stays out. The Red Wings have been the busier team in the offensive zone, but they still trail in the third. The Ducks win the draw. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Sider. On the attack, they come down the right wing. There's a chance in front, and that's intercepted. The Ducks move the puck in the defensive zone. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Looks to get the puck over to Kane. The Ducks scoop it up along the boards. And sends it just out of reach. On the attack along the boards. Shot! And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Here he is on the backhand. Denies that opportunity. This is a dialed-in goaltender. Very aware. Knows where the shooter is in that low slot and makes the save. Past the midway mark in this period. The Ducks lead it 4-3. The Red Wings win the draw. Press one in close. The Ducks gain control of the puck. Through center. Handles the puck. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. Centers are set, face-off ready to resume play. Detroit's got it in the defensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Costin. Into the offensive zone. And he takes the feed. Oh, and that one pops up short as he scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. Detroit's made this anybody's hockey game now. We are all tied just the way we love it, Cheryl. Yeah, everyone loves it in the building. I mean, the energy that it's created and the buzz. You can see everyone on the bench. They were up cheering, and this is the momentum switch in the game. This face-off is critical. You want possession, you want to continue to drive the pace and put them on their heels. You've got to love these moments within a game, James. It's tight. The game really hasn't opened up. You've got to play free, but you have to play responsible as well. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Takes a shot. And there's a whistle after that big-time shot. I think it busted the glass. Yeah, it didn't shatter, though. It's amazing today with the new technology of the sticks and the way these players shoot the puck that it didn't just blast and shatter and explode. Instead, it's a crack, so the maintenance crew will come out, and they'll just replace the panel. Cops won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Across the line. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Pushes it across to Fabry. The Red Wings play it along the wing. Let's it go. Kicked away. Nice pad save by the goaltender. Poked away at center by Larkin. Detroit's got a hold of the puck now. Back to the blue line. The Ducks have it from their own end. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. And he makes a save there. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Here in the late goings of the period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Comfers won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Puck picked up by Mata. Detroit's ready to go on the attack. Slides the puck down low. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Oh, look at this. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. And that goes off the player in front. Oh, what another save. Save made by the goalie. Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to...
to track and find the puck at all costs. It almost looks easy for him, but that's an impressive save. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Off the face-off, they take the puck. Slip feed. Take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. Quick pass to Henrique. And that's blocked in traffic. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Picked up along the wall by Carlson. Detroit's got it behind the net. Steps into the offensive end. Fires it. Gives them nothing in front. Gibson's got the puck get a stoppage in play. Well, and this is a huge play right here, just recognizing the tempo of the game and being able to dictate it. He's done it all night. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. Now a quick pass to Carlson. Another hit. He will feel this one by the end of the night. Ah, oh, tough night for him. He's going to have to keep his head up and move that puck quickly. He doesn't want to get banged again. Let's start off on the attack after winning the draw. Oh, that goes just wide of the net. I think he had more time than he thought here, James, with the pressure coming in on him. He just releases the puck quick, and he misses wide. So 60 minutes of play, and nothing decided. That means we've got overtime, and it's coming up right after this. With hot food and high school beverages, now Will someone get a chance to put the game on their stick? Overtime looms. Oh, the anticipation ramping up in this barn. You can just feel it right now. Moment of truth for both sides. Sudden death overtime. Let's get it on. The Red Wings have it against the wall. Sends it over. Receives the pass. Daly with the stop. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. And they win the offensive zone face-off. Now let's see if they can capitalize. Denies him again! We got a stop and just the puck sails over the glass. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone face-off. Larkins won the draw there on the attack. Petrano's got it in the defensive end. And he moves the puck back inside his own end. There's a collision with some authority. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Sider. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Uh, he's dialed in tonight, James. When the puck is on his stick, he is a magician. He goes east-west, he can go north-south, and most importantly, he creates his own space. He does take it to the net, but this time the goaltender makes the save. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Great reach with the poke check. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Poked away in the offensive end. And he loses control of the puck. Tremendous save by Gibson. Pumps it away in his own end. Strong's picking up steam. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck in their own end. And now it's grabbed by Gostas Bear. Centering pass. Hang on to it to regroup here for a moment. Quick feed to Copper. 
The Ducks gain possession in their own end. Moves the puck along the half wall. Well saved made by Huso. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Gains possession with both centers all tied up in the draw. Into the middle! He scores!